this video we will go over adding captions to images and some of the different options for editing images. To start, click on the Thumbnails tab on the bottom pane. If you do not see any images in your thumbnail pane, please watch the video Filter, Preview, and Insert Images to learn how to access images in the thumbnail pane. Select an image and then click on the Import and Edit button to the right. Please note that you can also edit an image by importing it first and then selecting the image in Report Writer. This is the Edit Image window. There are a variety of options here, which we will go through most of them one at a time. The first icon to the left of the toolbar is the Color Picker. Here we can choose our color for arrows or other shapes we add to the picture. For this example, I'm going to select red. The second icon on the toolbar is used to select your transparency level. I'm going to use a 50% transparency, so any shapes that I add are see-through. Now that we've selected a color and transparency level, let's add an arrow to the image. Click one of the arrow icons, then click and hold down the left mouse button where you want to insert the arrow. Drag the mouse across the screen based on how big you want the arrow to be. Now we have a red, 50% transparent arrow on the screen. Next, click the rectangle shape. Then click onto the image to add a rectangle where desired. If you want to change the thickness of the rectangle or circle shapes, then click the third icon on the toolbar and select the line thickness that you want. I'm going to change my line thickness from normal to thick. Then I'm going to click on my image to add another rectangle shape. You'll see that the lines are thicker than my previous rectangle shape. By now we have several shapes on our image. Sometimes we mess up and need to start over. In this case you can click on the shapes that you've added and click the delete button to remove them. Next we'll go over the edit button. If you click on the Edit button on the top toolbar, you can edit your image in another program such as Paint. Here I'll just add a red star, and then when I save my image, the change will take place in 3D as well. If your change does not take place after you made the change in another program using the Edit button, then click on the Refresh button and then the change will take place. Now let's go over a few more tools. The Magnify tool can be used to draw a circle that zooms in on part of the image. Please note that the whole shape must be on the screen for it to work properly. The Text tool is used to add text to the image. For this example, I'll type Test, and I'll use the color white with a solid background. We can use the Crop Image tool by selecting it, and then left-clicking, holding down the left mouse button, and then dragging the selection of the picture that we want to keep. This is useful if you only want to use part of the image. The Adjust Brightness slider is used to make the entire image darker or brighter. Let's go ahead and make this image a little bit brighter by dragging the bar to the right. At this point, I want to save the changes I've made to my image. So I'm going to click on the Save and Close button at the top left. Now I'm going to click on the image again to reopen it for more editing. You'll see that the changes we've made have saved and taken place, such as the crop imaging we've done, to use only a part of the image. An important thing to note is that once an image is saved, the objects become a permanent part of the image and cannot be removed without removing the whole image and starting your editing over from the beginning. Next we'll discuss adjusting an object after it has already been placed. Go ahead and click on the circle and draw a circle on the image. We now have a circle object placed on our image. If I click off of it, I deselect it. I can then click it again to reselect it. If you position your cursor at the edge and left click and hold down the mouse button, you can drag to resize the object even though we've already placed it down. We can also change the color of the image by going to the color picker 
and selecting a different color. We can even decide to change the transparency level from 50% back to solid. Now go ahead and delete that object. Next I'll click on the text tool and click on the image to add some more text to it. I'll type test just like I did last time and click OK. You'll see that I only have the letter T instead of the full word. That's because I clicked with the text tool instead of clicked and dragged across the screen to leave enough room for the, all of the text. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the text box to resize it so the word can fit. I'm also going to move it to the top right hand corner. And I've also decided that I'm not going to use this color anymore. So I'm going to double click on it and here I can change my text that I already put in or my color or size. I'm going to change my color to red and click OK. Please note that until you save and close out of the image, you're free to resize or move any objects on the image editor. Now let's go ahead and remove that text box we just added. Next I'll use the rotate button to rotate the image 90 degrees. This is very useful if the image was originally inserted sideways. Now that we've gone over most of the buttons, let's add a caption to the image. You can click in the caption text box and type a caption. For this example, I'll type that the ceiling needs repairs. You'll see a caption added to the bottom of the image. Your caption may look bigger or smaller than mine depending on your Windows settings. Please note that captions will format at final print time based on your own preference settings for color and position, which are mentioned in the video, setting your default image size and position. Lastly, we're going to change the image size from 2 inches to 4. Now we can select save and close to save the changes that we've made to the image in 3D, or we can click remove image from the inspection if we wish to start over or select a different image. I'll select save and close. Now we're done.